This is Mrs. Fischer. She works at the link between management and development at the high-tech company Trumpf and in this role is responsible for development project. For several years, methods and practices from agile product development and systems engineering have been used in the development department at Trumpf. These ways of working have become part of the everyday life of the team members and so the team can demonstrate a broad competence profile in the application of agile systems engineering. In the Punch Laser Machine New Generation project, which Ms. Fischer has been overseeing as product owner for some time now, challenges are piling up. The development of a sophisticated component and the restructuring of the requirements management take longer than planned. In addition, some partial results in the development project are missing again so that the sprint goal will not be reached. In the retro of the last sprint, the team realized that many agile techniques they are using and also most of the practices from systems engineering are working very well. However, the team feels that some approaches from both areas do not yet really fit together in certain places. This is a challenge the team would like to solve together in order to work more efficiently. Four weeks later, Mrs. Fischer visits the Hannover Messe 2021. At the BMBF stand, one project in particular catches her eye. It aims to provide companies with targeted opportunities to develop their expertise in this area by combining the advantages of agility and system engineering methods. This is exactly what we were looking for. Filled with interest, she visits the advertised website and finds a guide to help her implement systems engineering in combination with Agile in a sustainable way. By answering simple questions in the guide about her starting situation, her company and her challenges, she can narrow down her specific problem. In addition, the website offers customized approaches and methods to improve her project work using agile ways of thinking and acting, as well as approaches from systems engineering. One method with a great fit for her problem seems particularly interesting to her. Sprint planning should always use a reference architecture mapped in the central system model in the sense of MBSE. And the new view for planning and agile approaches should be integrated into the model. Increments are understood as development generations. From this, the development scopes can be estimated and the planning quality can be increased over several sprints. The knowledge generated in the sprint about the development and generations is fed directly back into the MBSE model in a suitable form via the intelligent documentation system and can be used across projects in real time. With the help of the guide, the team works out an individual implementation concept in a workshop with Ms. Fischer. After slightly modifying the process and integrating MBSE into the planning, the team now starts the next sprint planning for the next development generation. It's also planned to incrementally improve the concept with each sprint. On a smartphone, Ms. Fischer is reminded by the self-management tool, synchronized with the guide, to re-enter the KPIs determined jointly by the team every two weeks to measure success. After each sprint, the team reviews which aspects of the concept are working well and which still need to be adjusted. In this way, the team becomes more and more efficient with each sprint. After the first four sprints, a clear trend can already be recognized in the retro. The number of non-estimated backlog items was reduced by 30%. The number of backlog items implemented in the sprint was increased by 25%. The mood in the team, me measured with its own defined KPIs, was improved by 70%. Now the team is fully back in control of the project. By using the guide, the team can better understand their individual areas for improvement and generate appropriate combinations of methods and practices. In addition, the team expands its method portfolio with the best of agile and systems engineering methods and is prepared for future projects. The team is supported by the guide throughout the entire process and can continuously develop the process further while success is measured with the help of the guide.